Thank you, Jehovah Heavenly Father, for this morning, for waking me up. I'm so tired and so worn out. I ask the Holy Spirit to intercede on my behalf as I read and pray. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray. Amen. Proverbs 2. My son, if you will receive my treasure and my commands hide with you, so that you attend to wisdom your ear, you shall extend your heart to understanding. For if for understanding you cry, for understanding lifting up your voice, if you seek her as silver and as hidden treasures you search for her, then you shall know the fear of Jehovah and the knowledge of God find. For Jehovah gives wisdom. From his mouth are knowledge and understanding, and he lays up for the upright sound wisdom. He is a shield for those walking in integrity, to guard the paths of judgment, and the way of his saints he guards. That you may understand righteousness and judgment and honesty, every good path, when enters wisdom into your heart and knowledge to your soul is pleasing, discretion shall keep you, understanding shall watch over you, to deliver you from the evil way, from the man speaking perverse things, the ones leaving the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, rejoicing to do the evil. They delight in the perversities of the evil, whose paths are crooked and are devious their tracks. These will deliver you from the strange woman, from the foreigner by her words flattering, who forsakes the guide of her youth and the covenant of her God forgets. For leads down to death her house, and to departed spirits her tracks. All going into her, not return, and not they reach the paths of life. In order that you may walk in the ways of the good, and the paths of the righteous may keep. For the upright shall dwell in the land. And the blameless shall remain in it. But the wicked from the earth shall be cut off. And the treacherous shall be rooted up from it. Last night was Joshua in the Midnight Word. Um, the 31 kings he had, um, Joshua had uh, removed out of the land. 31 kings. Okay, now Joshua 13. Oh, no, I think I read that. No, Joshua 14. And these inherited the sons of Israel, the land of Canaan, which caused to inherit Eliezer, the priest Joshua, and the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the sons of Israel, was by lot their inheritance, as commanded Jehovah by Moses' hand for the nine tribes and the half-tribe, for had given Moses the inheritance of two of the tribes, and the half-tribe beyond the Jordan, to the Le and to the Levites he did not give any inheritance among them, for were the sons of Joseph two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and not they did give a portion to the Levites in the land, except cities to live in, and the land of the, and the land, and the open land of them for their livestock and for their substance. As commanded Jehovah by Moses, as commanded Jehovah Moses, so did the sons of Israel. And they allotted the land and came near the sons of Judah to Joshua and Gilgal and said to him, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the, Ken, the Kenizzite, you know the word that spoke Jehovah to Moses, the man of God, as to me and, to, and, and as to you in Kadesh Barnea. A son of forty years I was, 
when sent Moses, the servant of Jehovah, me from Kadesh Barnea to spy the land. And I brought back him word as it was in my heart. But my brothers who went up with me caused to melt the heart of the people. And I fully followed after Jehovah my God and swore Moses in that day, saying, Surely the land which has trodden your foot on for you shall be an inheritance for you, for your sons and to, for your sons to forever. For you have followed after Jehovah my God. And now, behold, as kept has kept alive Jehovah me, as he said, these forty-five years since Jehovah spoke this word to Moses, when traveled Israel in the wilderness, and now, behold, I am today old, eighty-five years, yet I am today as strong as in the day sent me Moses, as my strength was then, is my strength now, for war both to go out and to come in and now give to me this mountain of which spoke Jehovah in that day for you heard in that day how the Anakim were there and great cities walled if Jehovah shall be with me then I shall expel them as has spoken Jehovah and blessed him Joshua and gave Hebron to Caleb the son of Jephunneh for inheritance Therefore has belonged Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, for an inheritance to this day. For he fully followed after Jehovah, the God of Israel, and the name of Hebron before Kirjath, and the name of Hebron before Kirjath Arba, the man great among the Anakim Arba, was, and the land had rest from war. Thank you, Jehovah, Heavenly Father, for hearing my prayer, for getting me up today and getting me going. Uh, forgive me where I fall short. I ask the Holy Spirit to help me pray, Lord. Uh, and I ask the Lord that you watch over Peggy and Demario. Demario still needs a laptop and the, uh, Com computer service, and uh, I ask that you watch over Mrs. Ravel, Lord, and also um, my brother and his family, and um, Bridget, Lord, who's in the hospital, and bless both my parents, and thank you kindly for hearing my prayer. I forgetting anything and ask the Holy Spirit to intercede on my behalf. And oh yes, the one that I love, Lord. Watch over the one that I love. Yeshua's precious in my prayer.